Guten Tag, Leute. It's a beautiful Sunday, sunny Sunday, March 29th in West Virginia, and you're tuned in to the Outbreak Series podcast. It's a podcast where I'm tracking the development of the coronavirus throughout the United States of America and into my state of West Virginia. Before I go any further, please click on that subscribe button down on your right. I'd appreciate it. This is going to be a fast one. I've been doing this this podcast for 11 days now. Started on the 18th. And this is my ninth podcast. So to give you some perspective, on the 18th, there were 6,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in the United States. There was one confirmed in West Virginia with 130 tests given. West Virginia has a state population of 1.8 mil. On the 29th, oh how times have changed. We are over 125,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in the United States. We are at 113 in West Virginia with only 2,800 tests. 2,800 tests given. So, I guess it's a good day to live in West Virginia where the population density is sparse, but usually West Virginia just runs a couple months behind the rest of the country, so don't have any answers and don't know what to expect. What I can recommend is to continue doing your social distancing, continue to be updated, watch the news, watch my podcast, and stay safe. Because although it's a beautiful day and lovely breeze, nice and warm, there's some bad shit happening in the United States. That's for sure. So, I got some ribs in the oven. I got all kinds of other food in the fridge. I'm just gonna, I just feel like eating today. Just feel like grubbing hard. Um, Don't really know what to say right now. Same problems. Um, are still there. Um, just, just much worse. Uh, I forgot to mention, we uh, have definitely surpassed the 2,000 death limit, or whatever you want to call it, threshold, and. I'm concerned, and I've been concerned, and that's why I'm doing this podcast for you guys, okay? So, I just wanted to check in, put it in perspective, if you can imagine, if we don't flatten that curve, where those numbers are going to be 11 days from now. That's, that's a scary, scary thought. Take care of you, you and take care of yours. Be smart. You're in control. And we'll get through this. We'll get through this. No thanks to Trump. acting like this virus was going to magically disappear for months when we could have been stockpiling medical equipment, tests, but there's no need to look in the past, all we got to do is look to the future try to preserve 
our way of life, which is all screwed up right now. Although I don't mind chilling at the crib. I mean, it's not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. There's a lot of people out there going through some, some tough times. You know, a lot of the people that are getting this, this virus um, are having to deal with this on their own with no family members by their side. It's a very sad, sad thing. So whatever you need to do to prevent you from getting it or your family and friends, do it. All right? Hey, it's all good, guys. I love you. Peace out.